What's up, Raider Nation? What's up, Raider Nation? Happy freaking New Year. It's a, it's a new calendar year upon us. Same football season. I'm the Kamish, coming to you live, as always, from the friendly confines of Hardcore Challenge Live Studios, deep behind the enemy line. This is your immediate Week 17 post-game reaction. I watched it. You watched it. We lived through the drama all week in the groups, on Raider fan pages, on um, Raider news pages. The insanity that was being a part of Raider Nation this week. We lived all the way through it. And then we get to this game on New Year's Day that nobody, nobody gave the Raiders a fighting fucking chance to even be in. And to be 34-34 overtime to even be there with a quarterback in his first ever NFL start against the league's leading defense uh, uh, who was supposed to be assaulted by Bosa and all, all this was supposed for what we were supposed to see today and what we ended up watching do you need to have any other explanation as to why Derek Carr was asked to sit down you just watched two quarterbacks that at the beginning of the season, if you would have said would have been anything or would have been in any conversation, Brock Purdy and Jarrett Stidham would not have been anywhere near that conversation. Either one of them. But because of injury, because of performance, because of whatever, quarterbacks in front of them had to sit down and they've done nothing but come out and perform. First ever NFL start. Bad pass at the end, bad decision at the end, uh, don't like the play call, so I, I, I don't know. I have to go back, dissect that, see exactly what what uh, what transpired there. If that was the play call, um, if that was a, a bad choice of routes to go, just I, I didn't like I didn't like the deep pass when you got that much time. I didn't think you needed to force it like that, um, and it ends up, you know, basically being a punt and. <laughs> They get the ball, you know, go down, game over. But Stidham started well and continued to play well through the entire course of the game. Um, this is why you take the chance. Um, he's just a different type of player than Derek Carr. He moved in the pocket differently. Um, he was willing to run without any thought or, or reservation of injury or hesitation. He's just reckless abandon. And sometimes you just need to go and find the freshness that a young body can bring you. Yes, experience and all of that means so, so much. But man, you can't discount youth. You can't discount youth and you di can't discount reckless abandon in a violent fucking sport. You just can't. And the Brock Purdy, Jared Stidham duel that you've seen today is the exact reason why after nine years, you just have to say, Derek Carr, we've just got to divorce and we've got to try different things. Both of us. Good luck to you. And good luck to the Raiders. I just think it's better for both parties. And you've seen Exhibit A. The defense, still a big problem. Gave up way too many points. If this defense stops even one of those drives, I mean, Stidham was owning this game. He was owning this game. His, dude, I, the... When I seen him drop back, I mean, with his long strides in the pocket and he's just standing back there, he just looked like a true NFL pocket passer. The dude just looked like he belonged back there. No, I'm not going to sit here and say after a 30, uh, a 30, you know, what do you go, 23 for 34, 365 yards, three touchdowns and two picks, kind of a bad pick to, to close the game out. Um, I'm not going to come out here and anoint him as he's the next greatest thing since sliced bread. He should be the, the starter of the Raiders going forward. That's not what anybody's saying. But I'm saying what you've seen now is why you go out and you take a chance on some of these young guys who maybe aren't the sexy names. Jared Stidham wasn't touted coming out of, the, out of college. He ended up low on a depth chart. Uh, but that doesn't mean he doesn't have talent. Didn't mean Brock Purdy didn't have talent. Sometimes... The sexy names just get the start, and they get a longer leash. And with only 32 spots available in the entire league to be a starter, you sometimes you just don't get a fucking shot. And when you get a shot, you get a shot. 
Jared Stidham has shown that he deserves a look. He deserves a look. And maybe what he put on tape today was enough to get him hired by maybe even some other team. Let's remember Matt Flynn back in the day. The mighty Flynn. He got fucking paid by several teams off of basically one game on the last game of the season for the Packers. And he got paid on potential. Jared Stidham just fucking threw the P word and slapped it on the fucking table for you. And says, guess what, motherfuckers? I got big time potential, possibly as an NFL starting quarterback. And my name's in the fucking book. He looked good, man. He looked good against one of the top defenses in the league that was supposed to come there and fucking throttle the Raiders today, who was a team in, in disarray, and it didn't happen. I haven't felt this good about a, win, a loss in a long time, uh, but I thought the team looked good. I thought the team looked good bouncing back from what was a shit week with a lot of drama. I thought the team looked good. The season's over, but the season had been over for several weeks. This team was just a knocked out boxer standing in the corner and the body just hadn't fallen down yet. They weren't going anywhere. We weren't kidding anybody. I, I, it shows positiveness going forward. You're stuck with Josh McDaniels. Maybe you got a quarterback who, who, who's a little more in tune with him. Maybe you find success. That's all we all want. We're not car fans. We're not uh, Stidham fans. We're not none of that. It, it's not about players, ladies and gentlemen. It's about the Raiders and the Raider Nation. That's what it's about. It's team over any player. Whatever quarterback is under center who can get it done for this team, I'm all for it. If it's Carr, if it's Stidham, if it's the fucking next guy, I don't care. It's whatever's best for this franchise. Pride and poise. Commitment to excellence. And just win, baby. Get back to what this fucking franchise was built on. The the, the cornerstones, the, the, the foundation that this great franchise was built upon. Get back to that and all else will work itself out. It was a fucking gallant effort today. Stidham played well. But unfortunately, the Raiders have done what they've done all season. And they blew it in the end. It is what it is. The season's over. One more game, playing for pride against the Queefs, and then that's it. And we're into the offseason. That's about it, ladies and gentlemen. That's about it. I'm out. Peace, love, Raider Nation. Happy fucking New Year. Would have been nice to get a win, but at least we weren't embarrassed. And the Niners are walking away knowing that they squeaked out. They're walking away quiet.